So, Greetings, Mr. Uh, 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 the, Thank you. The youth movement has arrived from Belgium. Uh -huh. and, uh, nice to see you. How are you? The, the, nice to meet you, Mr. Orban. Victor Orban, how are you? Nice Good to see you. That is the Belgian delegation, yeah? Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to to meet you. A Flemish, actually. A Flemish. Flemish. A Flemish. The northern so they part. call themselves Flemish. Fl Flemish yes. yeah, I know where it is, of course. <laughs> and they are a youth movement. Flemish, the part which is working, yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the part that's working very well, yes. <laughs> and you, then they have written to your lecture. Uh, they were uh, translated, they got the translation. It was very nice to hear the emphasis on family values. You know, it's a kind of uh, combination of politics and. Uh, entertaining business yes very good oh, very good <laughs> show business you know so it's it's still traditional form of politics yes. and anybody can can ask anything sit yeah. down and it's basic that's what that's what we call they want basic democracy yeah exactly so uh, it's, uh, and we are we are we are regarded uh, non democrats but it's crazy <laughs> you know. it's crazy yeah, indeed it's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. we are uh, constantly in dialogue with you're t uh, being told that you're undemocratic by a person uh, like Juncker, who isn't even elected, so <laughs> yeah, it's quite hypocritical. What would you say to the Belgians who think that they cannot change this massive immigration, this cultural decline in the West, while you, with Fidesz in Hungary and in uh, Central Europe, Europe, have shown that change is possible, that it is possible to change if you are brave enough? What would you say to all these Belgians who think that multiculturalism and this invasion, this migration invasion, is a fact that they cannot change? Is it possible? May I be direct and honest? You, you can, of course. Finally, every nation got uh, what they deserve. So, be, awaken. Awaken as soon as possible, otherwise you will be in trouble. We are trying to awake, so, uh, so awake the you know, Tendencies which are going on, it's not just unpleasant, not just inconvenient, but changing dramatically at the basis yes. of our civilization. So if you are not uh, awaken in the proper time, Belgium will be different in five or ten years' time. So it's uh, it's about your future. It's not it's not our future. We would not like to give any yeah. advice because yeah. you know we are strictly respect national sovereignty. It's your yes. future, but it's in your hand. Do something. In the the speech I gave at the festival, <laughs> I said that we have to be the strongest generation in Western Europe, or we will be will be the last. But Stand up and fight. It was very great to find inspiration here because we see a lot of uh, good things happening in Central Eastern Europe. We can learn a lot from that in, in the West. It's complicated. You are rich anyway. Belgium is a rich country. The economy is working, but uh, the basis of soccer the society... Is good. Soccer but we is have, even better uh, than it was. I'm afraid that the worst so. thing in the West is that we have lost family values. Like uh, the, the women and the families are not having children anymore because they don't see a future. They only think about themselves. And, and, and we are trying to change that too. What I regularly got uh, as opinion from Belgium and from other countries uh, saying that uh, we can't change, it's impossible. Simply don't believe it. It's democracy. Yes. It depends on what you want. If you would like to change, change it. Stand up and fight. The first step is believing that you can change and it. And find the proper guys and partners and strategical alliances. You need, you know, a squad. Without a squad, politics doesn't work. So, team is important. Yes, that's why we are here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.